In this complete 2025 tutorial of Opus Clip, I will show you how you can use all of their features to their fullest potential. So by the end of this video, you will go from a beginner to a master when it comes to clipping content. I will be covering how to edit your clips, how to edit them to make them even more advanced with AI B-roll and more. And I will show you how you can schedule your content and do more with their AI features. So let's get started and jump right in. Now after logging in, this is the page that you will see. You have the option to do a few things here. First of all, you can drop in any type of link. So that can be a Dropbox link, a Google Drive link, a YouTube link, Twitch, Rumble, it doesn't really matter. You can import all of those links into Opus Clip. So let me just take one of my own videos, which is this one right here. Now I'm gonna click on share, copy, and then I'm gonna bring that to Opus Clip. Now, what this does, it will upload that link and then we can choose between Clip Basic or Clip Anything. Clip Basic essentially makes clips from your transcript, which is good already. But if you want to have more control of the outcome of your videos, then you can go with Clip Anything. With Clip Anything, you can basically prompt it to find anything you want in your video. Let's say it is a visual. For example, I'm lifting up a glass and I wanted to find the moment where I talked about the glass and I showed the glass in the frame. Then it can do that for me. Or it can be any specific action. For example, someone that scored a goal or made a dunk in basketball. Any of these can be done with the Clip Anything feature. So you can basically prompt it down right here to include a specific moment. So for this video, I'm just gonna keep it simple and I'm just gonna say, find the viral moments. Now, the next thing that you wanna get into is the length of your clip. You can choose between any of these lengths that are on the screen right here. So for YouTube Shorts, for example, you can now make clips that are up to three minutes long. So you can select the 90 seconds to three minutes or even the three minutes to five minutes. And Opus Clip will try its best to find these type of clips in that length. Now for my video, I know it's pretty short, so I'm just gonna keep it at 30 seconds to 60 seconds and 60 seconds to 90 seconds and then 90 seconds to three minutes. Then you're gonna select your genre of your video. Now for my video, I'm using a talking head and the AI will try its best to define what it is, but sometimes you need to help it a little bit. So I will use the talking head and I will use marketing and webinar. So now we can go to the next step, which is your processing time frame. Now I want to process my entire time frame, so I'm just gonna keep it like this. And then the next step is choosing a template. We have a ton of different templates available to choose from. So you can choose any that you like right here. I'm gonna go into my templates and I'm gonna select this one as this is a custom one that I made myself. And later in this video, I will show you how you can make one yourself too. Then once you're ready, you click on get clips in one click. And by clicking on this, it will start generating your clips. This usually takes between 10 to 20 minutes. As you can see right now, we're already on 5%. And that will go pretty fast. I'm assuming it will go faster than the 24 minutes that are on the screen right now. This all pretty much depends on how much demand there is on the website. So if there's more, then it might be a bit slower. If there's less, then it might be a bit quicker. As you can see, we're already going down to 23 minutes. So this will be done pretty quickly. Now, I already have one done right here for this video. So now the clips are done and we have from that 20 minutes video of me, we got around 24 clips. So that's quite a lot. Now, not all of the clips are good enough to use. So I would advise you to go through all of the clips and to see which one you like the most. So for example, let's see this one. So first of all, we go to gamma.app and here we can create an entire PowerPoint with just one prompt. Now this is pretty good. It started off with the first sentence of that introduction of the app that I showed. Keep in mind, this is not a podcast. This is a regular YouTube video where I share like nine or 10 different AI tools that I use. What you can do next is you can go to edit clip and here we can edit the entire clip. Keep in mind, this is a really powerful AI editor. You can do anything in here. First of all, we can change the segment. Let's say for example, I don't like this first sentence. What I can do is I can click on add section and now it goes to the transcript and I can just select these kind of sentences and I can say add. So by doing that, it will add in a new segment. So now we can see it rendering and this segment will be added to the timeline. So if Opus Clip gets it wrong or you want to include or exclude anything, you can simply do so within this text-based editor. Now, as you can see, we have it on the timeline. We can just select it like this and now we have that segment added. Now, 
I actually didn't want to do that, so I'm just gonna delete it again. And now we're back at the video. So if I go over the video, then you can see that at some of the words, for example, this one, select what, it has been highlighted. Now, if you want to highlight a word, then you can just simply click on it, then you click on highlight, and then you choose your color. To change these type of colors, we simply go to AI keyword highlighter, and then here we can change the color of them. So you can choose anything that you'd like, and then you have totally different highlights. The next thing that you can also customize is the captions. Now for the captions, first of all, you can select where you want it placed. If we drag this around, then you can see there is a safety barrier for which you need to stay in in order to avoid your captions being overlaid with share button or the like button on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube Shorts. So for my video, I like to keep it in the middle, but this can depend depending on how your video is structured. For example, on this video, it is a split screen, so putting it in the middle is the best way for me. Now, what you can do next is you can click on caption and then here you can change your preset to anything else. So for example, if you want to have this one, then it will give you this karaoke preset that Ops Clip has already built for you. Then you can change if you want to have three lines of captions or one line of captions, so whatever you prefer. I usually prefer having one line. Then you can change the position. Uh, you can keep it on auto or you can adjust it like I just said. Then the animation, for example, this is a bounce animation. Let me just show you. We can see we have all of these key metrics. We have, you can do an underline. Let's do this soft koi, for example. And now you can do the box. We click on generate. <laughs> and you can also slide it left. All of the images or slide it up. Are generated with AI. There's a lot of customization to be done right there. Besides that, you can also change the font. So if you have a font that you'd like or a brand font that you use, then you can either choose anyone from here or you can upload your own custom font. If I click on this window and it will open up a new tab and here I can upload a new font in there. So if you have your own font like I've done right here, you can just upload it in there and then Opus Clip can use it. So for example, if I just click on this, then I have this Nexa heavy font. Next up, you can change the color of your font. You can change the size. You can change if you want to have it uppercase or as typed. And you can also add in a stroke or a shadow. So these are pretty much the basics when it comes to editing your videos. Now, let me choose a different video where I show some more advanced features. So first of all, we can change the layout of our clip. So for example, right here, we have a screen share going on. The way this works is we have a few different options. First of all, you can choose fill. This will let you fill in one person on the screen entirely. So this will make sure the entire frame is covered by that clip. Then you can choose fit. So for example, this video is 16 by nine. So it will try to incorporate everyone on the screen right here. Then you can choose split. This will keep both speakers on the screen as you can see right there, which is a very popular choice for people that have a talking head podcast with multiple speakers on them. Then you can go three if you have three different things on there. As you can see, we don't have one, so this doesn't make any sense. Next up, you have screen share and gameplay, and those are specific for people that are sharing their screen or their gameplay. Now I'm gonna go with fill. Then if I double click on this, I can crop it even further. So let's say I want to crop it down onto his face a bit more, then I can apply this, and now it's zoomed in a little bit further. So we, you have the complete freedom to choose whatever you like right here. So you can do it 60 by nine, one by one, and then you can hit apply. So try to play around with this until you find the perfect fit for your video. Then next up over here on the left hand side, we have a few different options to choose from. First of all, we have a text overlay where we can add in a heading right here. Here you can basically add in a title if you want it to be included in the first few seconds in your video. So for example, you can say something like speed went crazy and this can be like your title for the video which you can move further to the beginning of your video so you see that in the first few seconds. Then next up you have transitions. So here they speak for themselves. You can transition between multiple scenes. So next up, you have AI voiceover. So if you don't have a dialogue or if you want to add in an intro or you just want to add in a voiceover overall, then you can do so right here. So you can type your voiceover script right here. So let me do that same example again here. Speed goes crazy in Indonesia. So now we can select our speaker. 
we have a bunch of different options. Let's do Paul. If you do what you've always done. So now we're going to select Paul. Then you can play around with the stability and the original audio. I'm just going to keep it like this. And now this usually takes like 20 seconds and then you have your own voiceover. So now I dragged it to the beginning of our video and it muted this other soundtrack. So it sounds like this. Speed goes crazy in Indonesia. Indonesia, because th that's the one that... So yeah, that's a great way to add in some voiceover to your video. So it is an all-in-one video editor that can even add in a voiceover to your videos. Now, next up, we have B-roll. Now, one thing that I want to change in this video is this part where he shows the B-roll. So let me just show the clip again. Because th that's the one that broke records. Millions of people too. So as they are talking about this segment, John is showing B-roll of Speed being in Indonesia. They actually used this video, which is a three hour long stream that Speed was doing in Indonesia. And then he's showing this in this segment right here. To fix this, as they have not zoomed it in correctly, as it is showing like the YouTube video, you can either zoom in to make it like this, and then you can oh, live. Like, then you can show it like that. Or what you can also do is what I did is I copied this link right here. Then I went back to Opus Clip, and then I clipped the entire thing. So this is a almost four hour long stream. I clipped it. And now I can use this as B-roll. So for this, I used a template that kept it in the original 16 by nine state. And now I can take any of these moments and download them and use them as B-roll. So the way it works is I go back to Opus Clip, then I go to Upload. And now once this is downloaded, I can upload this into Opus Clip. So you drag it in there. And now this takes like 10 seconds and then you drag it onto the timeline. Now you resize it and then you select the moment that you want to show there. We crop it a little bit or we adjust the sizing. And now we have our own custom B-roll. Millions of people tuned um, in live. Like, well. So this works pretty great with any type of B-roll that you have. So you can upload images, you can upload videos, you can even upload audio and you can place this in this timeline editor. If you don't have any B-roll yourself, then you can go over to the B-roll section you can use the auto-generate AI B-roll or you can use the stock B-roll feature. So if you click on auto-generate AI B-roll, it will generate some AI images for you, which will have a transition on there. And depending on the type of content you're talking about, this can be a pretty good substitute for having actual B-roll. So if we just take a look at this one, for example, because uh, they're talking about live stream. And now we have some B-roll of a live stream going on right there. So that is just one other way to spice up your videos, to make it more custom and also to make it more unique. Because at the end, you can clip any type of content, but if you have your own unique style to it, then that makes it yours. A recent new update that Ops Clip has launched is adding in music to your video. So you can either do that by uploading your own audio or you can choose any of the copyright free music that has been provided by no copyright songs and you can just choose one. You can play it to listen to it. Once you like it, you click on add and now it is added to your timeline. So now we can change the volume so you can keep it like this or you can increase it or decrease it however you like. Another cool feature that I want to share with you for those of you that don't have a fancy mic like this or maybe you are outside and you have like an iPhone mic that doesn't sound too great, like Speed for example is having right here. Let me just listen to it. So there's a lot of background noise going on. What you can do here is you can click on AI Enhance, then you can do Speech Enhancement, you can remove filler words, you can remove pauses, and you can even censor cursing words. Now this is great for those of you that want to speed up their editing process by removing the words, by just removing all the mistakes of cursing that they've made, and for those that have a bad quality mic. So if you just toggle this on, then we click on Confirm, and now it will take like less than 10 seconds, literally as I'm speaking about this right now, it's already almost done. Then if we listen to it right now after it has just finished, then it would sound like this. Yes, hold it. All right, so look, what are we doing? What are we doing? So you can hear those screaming people. In the beginning, they have just been removed from that audio, which is pretty insane if you think of it. Now that is essentially how you edit your entire clips with the help of AI. So let me go back to that clip that we were just editing. If you like what you have made, then you can click on save changes 
and now you can head over to export. Once you have saved the changes on your clip, it will take a few seconds to re-render. And then what you can do is you can publish it directly on your socials, or you can export it to an XML file, which you can then further edit in Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, or you can also download the clip. Now, if you want to publish it on your socials, then you click on it, then you select the platform that you have, here you can link any of the social media platforms that you're using. Then you can change the title. You can also change the description. And then you select the time that you want to publish this. So let's say, for example, I want to publish this the 16th. I select the time on which I want to publish it. And then I can hit schedule, but I'm going to just put it on private. And now I'm going to hit schedule. Now, if you want to see all of the posts that you've scheduled, then you go over to the calendar and here you can find where your videos have been scheduled. If you go to the analytics, then you can find your current views and your analytics of your social media pages. I'm not posting on this one currently, so these stats yeah, aren't that great. Another feature that I want to share with you, which is very useful if you're using Ops Clip, is creating your own brand template. Now, if you click on brand template settings, then here you can make any type of template that you want. Once you like it, you can save it as a new template and then you give it a name. So let's do new template. And now you have that template saved in Opus Clip. So this is great for if you have a custom brand style and you don't want to manually change the style on every clip. With Opus Clip, there are four different pricing plans available. First of all, you have the free plan, which gives you 60 credits to use per month. It has a watermark and also it will expire after three days. Now, with this, you don't have access to all the features I just showed you. For that, I would recommend using the Pro Plan. If you go with the yearly option, then you actually get a nice discount with it. So with both the Starter and the Pro Plan, you can edit your video further, but with the Pro Plan, you get access to the AI B-roll, you can add more input sources, and you basically have everything you need to make the best clips possible. Now, if you want to try this out yourself, then click the link in the description where you can try out Opus Clip for free with a free trial. And then once you like it, you can upgrade to a paid plan. If you have any questions about Opus Clip, then leave them in the comments down below. And if you've liked this video, then make sure to subscribe and leave a like. My name is Dan and I will see you in the next video.